So this is just me walking back to the apartment. Um, you can't really see how cold it is because the wind is kicking up a lot of sort of snow, but it's not, you know, look. I mean, the top, the top layer is ice, like this, right? Um, not a big deal. The problem is that it, there was a snowstorm about five minutes ago, so it's very difficult to predict what's going to happen. And if you're the government, obviously you can't, or, or, or even a private contractor, obviously you can't, you know, clean the streets every five minutes because there's no way to figure out when there's going to be a snowstorm. So you can see there's nobody really outside right now. Uh, a lot of cars, but you know, when you're, when you're thinking about why colder places, oh gosh, you can't even see anything that way. Uh, anyway, well, when you're thinking about why colder places are typically uh, more, well, there you go. Here, here's another problem. You can't really see it, but um, I mean, it's just, uh, I can't walk over here. So I've got, I've got to actually like step over here. <laughs> Let's see if this one is going to work. Oh, good. This is solid ice. All right. Okay. So I'm actually better off just walking in the street, which is the only part that's paved because it's the easiest way to do it. You just get like a big tractor of some sort, or what we call a snow shovel, um, and then you just, you know, go through the street. So that happens obviously on a regular basis, but the sidewalks, no way. So you can actually see why um, smaller places have more social welfare programs, because if you're, say, on a bus, a bus driver, and somebody comes out and just doesn't have exact change, you know, if you're, if you're in a sunny state, you can just let him, you know, kick him off or just not let him on. But here, I mean, you've got to really weigh the pros and cons. <laughs> because if you make a mistake, um, obviously there's, you know, you're sort of overwhelming your own desire uh, to make sure that your fellow man survives, um, you know, over a profit motive. Whereas if it's sunny outside, you can, you can legitimately say, yeah, you know, this guy should have brought exact change. Uh, the consequences under a cost-benefit analysis, um, you know, sort of guide you uh, towards a different analysis. So when you're wondering why places like Minnesota and a lot of other, you know, Sweden and so on may think differently, uh, again, two things come up. One, uh, you know, if to survive in this weather, you've got to be kind of tough. Uh, number two, if you're older, people tend to vote, vote more, more often and more consistently, and they sure as heck don't want to be doing this kind of work. Uh, so it becomes a sort of a push-pull situation um, when the government is able to provide, gain credibility through the provision of essential public services. Um, that also allows people to trust each other. You know, if, if the streets are paved every single day, the government has more leeway, or at least a foundation from which to work with. And I've got to put my phone down because my hand is uh, freezing. Um, and then hopefully we'll, we'll figure this out. Take care.